so I am here today to do a story time over um, what happened on Avi Match. Which, if you don't know what Avi Match is, it is a site to which I'll show you guys. Okay, guys, this is Avi Match. I just pulled up a steal of it for you guys. Um, and you can browse and find different people and yeah and with this dating app you can talk to um, different guys that are on there or girls if that's your preference and um, that's how I met Christopher who is who we're going to talk about today well actually we can talk about the first one too so I've never found a guy off of every match that was normal or even not even I'm not even going to say normal because I'm not even normal but I'm going to say that was not crazy or has some kind of issue I guess so the guy um that I spoke to his name the first guy I don't think I remember his name all I can tell you is that when we met up he had a problem with um, me telling him the truth that I had a kid Abby um, and he also had a problem that uh, I was telling him different things that I thought were true about my personality According to the Zodiac, not saying that that's what I believe in or, you know, I'm going to live my life by the Zodiac signs or whatever. Just, you know, telling him about my personality. And he didn't like that. He said that was a big, huge red flag for him. And I was just like, what? How is that a huge red flag? And the, so basically at the end, he was like, well, it was nice meeting you. I'm sorry for wasting your time. But those are huge red flags for me. So I was like, okay. That's fine. You know. I felt like. A little hurt, I guess. Disappointed. Because I was like. I mean, he didn't even get a chance to know me or anything. He just. I don't know. Went with that. But anyway. So. That brings us to Christopher. So Christopher was the second guy. He hit me in my in my um, inbox, which both of them hit me in my inbox. Um, and let's talk about Christopher. So Christopher told me a lot about his past girl friends on Second Life and how they did him so wrong and so bad. And that, you know, he was really a good guy. That, you know, this woe is me kind of scenario. Like, every girl's done him so wrong and they shouldn't have done him like that. From the story, you would think that Christopher was done so wrong. Until you get to know Christopher. So, guys, <laughs> this is hilarious. So he's like, um, you know, the first day we just hung out and we just, uh, I fell asleep on the computer with him and we just chilled. It wasn't, you know, anything more. It was fine. It was fun. It was cool. I will say that Christopher had this weird voice he would do. Um, he would do this weird, like, babyish voice, like, and why not, why not, why not, or something like that. It was, it was so weird. And I was just like, that is not sexy at all. <laughs> and like, he's like, he just kept doing this annoying voice. It was so annoying. And I don't know, it, it was just crazy. And like, he would like um, do this thing where he was like, trying to imitate my voice I guess an American voice or something oh I think I forgot to tell you guys he's from the UK so he's from the UK and you know at first I thought he was a cool guy you know um, he did sing and I sing so 
I was really, you know, at first, like, really interested or intrigued by that because I love people who like to sing. I love music, period. So I thought we would hit it off. And we did kind of hit it off, except for those little tweaks about him or whatever. And he was very, I guess, always joking, um, never serious. Like, it was like everything was a joke for him. Okay, so these are things that, you know, I was trying to, like, give him the benefit of the doubt, I guess you would say. So the next day, um, I can't remember. I think he was like, uh, I think he said, um, well, it was nice meeting you, um, but I'll let you be with your other guy or something to that effect and I'm like what is he talking about so obviously this guy so I wanted to say right here that um I had uh not logged off but my my laptop um died from the battery dying and because I was offline he felt like I went to go be with somebody else or something like that. Um, when I logged back on to see if he was still there to make sure he knew what happened or whatever, just to be courteous, um, I fell back asleep and then I guess he contacted me again and, or he said he was, he had been there for online for five minutes and we had to, I had to literally go step by step as to what I was doing that whole time um to explain to him and I had just met him the night before right. he's the type of person who will use his past experiences and kind of like force them on you like tell you you're this type of person because he's dealt with this type of person and so like I don't like that I feel like you shouldn't judge a person by things you've been through already like you should like give them the benefit of the doubt you shouldn't just I mean that's a major 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 turn off to me um because I wouldn't do anybody like that so I don't expect to be done like that so um after that uh he I told him like you know I don't appreciate you judging me by things you've been through in the past you know I don't lie. There's no reason for me to lie to you. I met you yesterday. Um, <laughs> which you shouldn't have to say this to a person. That right there is a red flag. If we want to talk about red flags. So I'm just like, okay. Um, since you're saying that you don't want to talk anymore. Do you want to start over? Or do you really want to not talk anymore? So I gave him a second chance, guys. I was like, hey. You know, everybody makes mistakes. I'll give him a second chance. Woo wee boy was I wrong for that. <laughs> I should have just ran away when I had the chance. So second day, um he's still on this craziness. Uh or was this the third day? Okay, so the second day I talked to him before I went to sleep and then like I said he's from the UK so I was sleep most of the day so I didn't get to talk to him again. And to be honest, I really just didn't feel like talking to him. So, I slept because I was sleepy. And then the next day, next morning, um, he got in my box. And off the cuff, he had an attitude. He said something like, uh, something around, like, why didn't I hit him up or something? And I'm like, your items work the same way mine do? So, you know... I don't understand the problem. So he, he was very angry already. Okay, guys? So it wasn't like he, he came to me like, Hey, how you doing? How was your day? Blah, blah, blah. It wasn't like that at all. Oh, mind you, I forgot another thing. The day that I had spoken to him, the day before, in the morning, I went to bed because he was on the phone and so he couldn't talk and I didn't feel like typing because I was already tired. So, now... After, um, so the next morning, like I said, 
he was in my box out I, I was already tired guys i was shopping out shopping when he hit me up um he asked me what i was doing i was like i'm shopping or whatever um he asked me uh why didn't i hit him up or something like that i was like well i was shopping you know i didn't know you were online i don't have you know how well if you play second life you know this that you know you can have it where your friends on your list it pops up every time they get online I don't like it because it lacks my computer and I'm not gonna like it doesn't benefit me because if I'm doing if I'm not doing anything and I want to say hey to people then I'll look down my list if I'm working on something then I'm not gonna do that because I'm working on something right right guys you get me okay so what was that <laughs> sorry <laughs> so he's like well um he has this attitude or whatever I finally get to where he is because he TP'd me like three times. And I'm like, okay. So I hit him back up and I'm like, okay, guys. I mean, okay, um, I'm coming now or whatever. So I TP to his location. I can't find the hair that I bought. So I'm like, can you hold on one second? I need to go back and see if I can get it re-delivered. And that didn't happen. Okay. So... Mind you guys, when you're by yourself, you don't have your headphones in. Sometimes you're listening to music in real life. You know, other things. And you don't feel like having your headphones in the whole time. So, I had to actually explain this. Like, explain myself this whole morning. Like, it started with, why didn't you hit me up? I explained that. Then it went to, why don't you have your... Uh, uh, notifications when people get online on uh, I answer that then it went to um, what was the next argument for him uh, oh so I asked him to repeat himself two times different things that he said it wasn't the value it was how fast he was talking he's from England so he has an accent and he spoke really fast so at that time so I'm like I couldn't understand you so that's why I had to you repeat yourself why do I have to go through the whole reason of why I asked you to repeat yourself just for you to be okay with that I mean guys he went from zero to a hundred so fast over me asking him to repeat himself he's like I hate that SHIT you know People always do that in Second Life and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, um, excuse me, I only asked you twice. Um, I'm not everybody else in Second Life. I'm me, Elijah, hello. So <laughs> I'm just like, what in the world is his deal? Like he's, since we started this conversation, he has had some anger in his voice, in his demeanor. Like, I'm just like, okay. So in my head, I'm thinking, okay, this is the last time I'm dealing with this dude. Because <laughs> I'm not about to be doing all this. So um, he continues to be angry. I mean, we're arguing over the pettiest of things. He asked me to sit down. I sit down in a chair. And because I didn't sit right next to him, he goes and sits in the back of his house somewhere. Like... 19 meters away from me and I'm like what are you doing why are you way over there he's like oh because you didn't sit next to me so petty is that not the pettiest thing in the world like why would you go sit 19 meters away because I didn't sit right next to you like guys this is <laughs> ridiculous and this is not even it this is not even the end of the story okay so then after that I'm trying to think of what made me say I'm done. I don't know exactly what all he said. I just know he was like, oh, and there, no, he said, and, and there won't be a third time because the the next time I'm done or something like that about repeating himself. And I'm like, okay. But he continues to be mad over whatever he's mad over and continues to argue. So I said, you know what? I'm not about to do this. It's late. It's like 5 in the morning for me. And I'm not going to argue with somebody when I stopped whatever I was doing to come hang out with you. 
And now you're yelling at me and treating me like crap. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go. You can take me off your list if you like to. But I'm done. Have a nice night. And I TP'd out. Guys, I'm going to tell you. So guys, I wanted to also say that, you know, the reason why I think he acted like this is because he didn't have any power and he couldn't exert power over me. Um, also, I think guys, when they lose power, just like a guy, if you're talking to a guy or he's trying to talk to you and you say no thank you, he calls you the B word or whatever or out of your name because he's mad that you didn't want to talk to him. I think this is what happened in this case and you know he's a narcissist like I'm gonna show you um, what he said again like he's the whole first night you know he was talking about himself and the females he was with and stuff like that and like I said and also you know now he's talking about how inferior I am to him and He's, he's just delusional, delusional. Okay, here's the part you guys need to hear. So, like I said, he was mad, so he got on um, another avatar and decided to um, say these things to me. So, as you can see, this is just crazy. Um, you can see that he has to have some kind of mental illness to say these things to a person that he just met. Like, there's no way you should have that much anger and hatred towards somebody that you just met that hasn't done anything to you. Um, it's disgusting to even speak of spitting in a person's face. And then for you to say that somebody's inferior to you, come on now. So guys, um, I wanted to get on here right quick and show you the kind of person he is. Again, he's with another avatar and talking about how he's... Um, He said, I guess you're more than retarded, more retarded than I thought. Either that or you can't read, silly Americans. You're, you're, you always were inferior to we Brits. Why do I have to feature, have that feature enabled? I really didn't care about any of these things that he was talking about. He's talking about much like you fear me and, and that he's godly. He has a godly dominance over others and sincerely your God. Um, he literally has a complex as you can see. Um, this is a dangerous type person because I mean as you can see he's really psycho. Um, his name is Tactical Nightfire, Nightfire and the other avatar that he just got on is Christoph McFancy also L. Rond Caldron and then the other one was on my Facebook and that one is uh, Cobalt Archer so you guys just be careful of these people because <laughs> it's ridiculous um, oops didn't mean to do that. Um, anybody who has to keep berating you to um, make themselves feel better is not the type of person you need to be around. Um, seriously, this video is supposed to be entertaining, but also like nobody. Should. So I had gotten on Abby Match to just check my profile and get the picture that I needed for this video and I found came across this um, message that he sent me um, I'm not gonna read it you guys can read it if you like to um, 
I'm just tired. Like, he keeps sending messages and it's annoying. He has nothing else better to do. Happens. So, guys, this is my horror of a <laughs> story time. I don't recommend Abby Match for anyone because every time I hear Abby Match and meet somebody, they are bozo crack crack. So, I hope you enjoyed that story time, guys. Um, I, so, I'm going to say got, bye, guys. This um, was my story time, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, repost the video. Support me, please. I'm trying to make this YouTube dream happen for myself. And um, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.